Here's another quick tip from Whole Latte Love. Hi, Mark and Morgan, and today we've got five milk frothing tips. Number one, start with cold milk and a cold pitcher. It's much easier to get air into milk when it's cold. So keep the milk in the fridge and store your frothing pitcher in the freezer. Starting with a chilled pitcher gives you more time to get the air in. Number two, purge before and after steaming. Purging before gets rid of any condensation in the steam system and keeps water out of your milk. After steaming, immediately wipe down your wand to keep the outside clean and then purge again to push out milk from the inside of the wand. Number three, clean the air intake on auto frothing wands. Now all auto frothing wands have air intakes. Dried milk can clog these and reduce frothing performance. If you're having issues, it's the first thing to check. After use, take your wand apart and clean it thoroughly. Number four, get the air in early and roll. So as mentioned, cold milk is better at taking in and holding air. So get it in quickly. Now ideally, you should be done adding air before the outside of the pitcher gets warm. So from there, get that milk rolling. Find a position for the wand tip slightly below the surface that creates rotation in your pitcher. The rotation helps break up larger bubbles and create a smooth, uniform texture. Number five, keep it cool. Want your milk sweet and creamy? Then don't get it too hot. For best flavor, we recommend steaming to 140 degrees for smaller drinks like cappuccinos, up to 155 degrees for larger lattes. Do you have any more frothing tips? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest on everything coffee. The number one source for everything coffee? WholeLatteLove.com.